I'm standing in the valley of Ayalon on location in Israel. This is the place where Joshua prayed that the sun would stand still. I wrote my first book about that miracle. I challenged believers to embrace an audacious faith and dare to ask God for the impossible. My new book, Greater, is all about living an audacious life and igniting a vision that only God can accomplish. And the message of Greater is based on the prophet Elisha, who went from being in the back of the line behind 11 pairs of oxen to being one of the greatest miracle-working prophets in the history of this nation, the nation of Israel. And in this book, I've enlisted Elisha as our guide as God leads us into a life that's greater. Greater than what? God's vision is greater than the labels you were given when you were young, greater than the cynicism that may be setting in as you're getting older, greater than empty earthly success that brings no eternal reward, greater than the shame tethered to you like a stone from the sins of your past, greater than the dreams you've dreamed for yourself, greater than even the greatest moment you've had thus far. And this isn't just some hyped up sizzle, I'm wheeling and dealing, because in John 14, 12, one of the most shocking verses in the Bible, Jesus himself said that everyone who believes in him will do even greater things than he, Jesus, the Son of God, did. Now, that doesn't mean that God expects us to be greater than Jesus. It means he's inviting us to be greater with Jesus through his power inside of us. So in the book, I talk practically about how to take a God-given dream from idea to reality, about how God can stretch your limited resources and abilities in ways you never thought possible, how to replace the images of yourself that keep you feeling stuck in the past and make a significant impact with your life starting today rather than making endless plans for tomorrow that you never get around to. Greater is designed to give you the confidence to know that nothing is impossible with God and the clarity to see the next step he's calling you to take, the courage to do anything he tells you to do. So if you feel like you're far out in a field called ordinary, it's time to burn your plows and dream bigger. If you're feeling stuck in a valley of confusion or complacency, it's time to dig some ditches and start smaller. If you sense that you are meant for more, and you're tired of settling for less, I've got good news. Today's the day God's greater vision for your life begins in full force. Welcome to a place called Greater.